Hello and welcome to our first episode of Training with Matt. Today we'll take a look at our Dispatch Anywhere driver app. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how your drivers can use multiple tools within the app to complete a call. We begin at the sign-in screen. Each driver will have their own username and password that you'll assign to them. Once they are logged in, they may be prompted to scan a vehicle barcode. These barcodes can be printed from Dispatch Anywhere, and this will assign the driver to that vehicle. If the driver doesn't have a barcode, they can simply press the skip button at the bottom. We're now looking at the main job screen. We will start by looking at our menu options. We can access those by pressing the menu icon in the upper left corner. In the menu, we can choose to look at our current jobs, our previous jobs, scan a different barcode if we're switching trucks, access our settings, or go into our help section. We'll explore our settings by pressing this option. In this area, the driver has the ability to make changes to their individual settings. They can choose their display options, tracking options, and sound options. Once these have all been set, press the menu key again and choose Current Jobs. If the driver has active jobs assigned to them, they will see them here. In our example today, I'll send a job to the driver now. The driver will be alerted with a notification and sound that they have chosen from the menu. The job appears on the screen with all the basic information, and once the driver touches that job, it will open up into more detail. Down the right-hand side, we can see our quick actions. The phone icon is a one-touch dial for the customer. The driver simply presses this button, and they can call the customer. Next is the directional arrows next to the addresses. If the driver touches this option, it will take them into their mapping services on their phone and give them turn-by-turn -turn directions. The next icon is the eye or information icon next to the car. Pressing this option will open up our TOSPEC website. This will show things like the tower tips on the vehicle, recommended towing methods, jack points, and hook points. Lastly, the driver may have an edit option in the services section. This allows the driver to add services, edit services, and edit service pricing. This option can be configured by the company admin on whether we want this option available for our drivers. At the bottom of the job, you'll see a check and X. The driver will choose a check to accept the call or the X to go back to the current job menu. Once a driver has confirmed the job, they'll have new icons across the bottom of the screen. The first stopwatch icon allows the driver to timestamp the call. All timestamps are sent back to the dispatcher immediately in Dispatch Anywhere. The next camera icon allows the driver to add a picture to the call. They can take a new photo or choose one from their gallery. If they take a new photo, the picture is uploaded to the call and it will not save to their device. The receipt icon in the middle allows the driver to email, text, or print the receipt for the customer. We can also capture the customer's signature by selecting the signature icon to the far right. The driver will type the customer's name in this field and choose continue in the top right corner. The customer now has the ability to sign on their phone or tablet once we are done, we'll go back to the main call screen. The fourth credit card icon allows the driver to take payments. To take a new payment, we click on the icon in the top right corner. In the next step, we can change the payment amount if we needed to or add a reference number. We'll choose our payment method and choose continue. We're now looking at the payment successful window. We can email, text, or print a copy of this payment receipt for the customer or choose no thanks at the bottom. The last icon that looks like three horizontal dots or a more options icon gives us two more tools for the driver. The first option is for a key drop off. This allows the driver to enter the name of the person he is handing the keys to. Once we enter a name, the person is prompted to sign on the driver's phone or tablet, confirming they took possession of the vehicle keys. The other option is for a vehicle damage report. We begin by pressing the plus in the top right corner. The driver will now begin to select damage points on the customer's vehicle. After they have picked the first damage point, they can put more detail about that specific point and add a photo too. Once there is at least one damage point, we need to get a customer confirmation. Choose the customer confirmation button below the damage picture. The customer will choose I agree, will type in their name, and then they'll sign on the phone or tablet confirming any previous damage to their vehicle. Once the driver finishes the call, they may be prompted to add more information. In our example, the driver needs to add a VIN number and odometer reading for this job. If the driver is prompted for the VIN number, they can type the full VIN number in or choose the magic wand icon. 
If they choose this option, they can enter the license plate and state abbreviation and choose Get VIN. If the correct VIN is showing, the driver can simply press on that VIN and it will add it to the call. This concludes our training on our Dispatch Anywhere driver app. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe for future videos. If you have comments, concerns, or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.